Fantastic news! We may very well have found a treadmill. What kind of treadmill? I don't know. What kind of condition? I'm not too sure. The conversation that I have been having with this lady has not been very helpful. This was the gist of the conversation. Hello! Hi, I'm calling about the treadmill you posted on Craigslist. Oh yeah, it's really old. Would you like a picture? Oh yeah, sure, I'd love a pic. Okay. Well, it is free. I mean, I'm not expecting anything fancy. All I need to know is, does it work? Oh, yeah, totally. Like new. All right, excellent. I'll see you in a few then. Epic fail. What do I do with my key? Why do I keep losing things? Hi, uh, I, I, don't, I don't live here. Oh, you don't live here? I thought you live here. Okay. Yeah, but... Oh, you're looking for the computer yeah, monitor? Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's in there. Oh. I walk in, she's like, okay, so here's the computer monitor, and, and here's the end table, and I'm like, what, what, no! Where's the treadmill? Oh, you're here for the treadmill! So I wasn't able to get a picture of it. God damn it! Why can't I have the little, like, camera and the glasses spyware thing? Not spyware, no, that's already been used. So we go down, shut up! We go downstairs and I'm looking at this treadmill. It's freaking old. Old as Drive hell. 1.4 miles. I'm talking like left. Yeah, I'm trying to vlog. I'm talking like old like when they discovered electricity old. The thing did run, but first we had to plug it in and then the thing started smoking. <laughs> go be a dick. Go be a dick somewhere else. I hope you get shot right in the nose. The friggin' motor starts smoking. I smelt burnt rubber. She was a nice lady, though. It'd be one thing if it was some, like, wicked, huge, obese lady who's wearing her pajamas and smoking a cigarette and yelling at her cats. I'm driving on this road, and I haven't driven on this road in a long time. It's kind of a back road, and I'm seeing all these farm stands. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this sucks! Come springtime, come after the weight loss competition, there's seriously like 20 farm stands I could go to that have fresh produce that they pick out of the ground that morning for like a fifth of the amount that you have to pay in the grocery store. I could, I could travel to each one of them on a bike. I live near Boston, Massachusetts, and from like the springtime till almost the middle of fall, they have a thing, they have a section in there called Hay Market, and it's a, a farmer's market every Friday and Saturday, and it's just fruits and vegetables and fish. That's it. For a wicked cheap price, and the place is mobbed, but they always got enough to go around. I would get, like, seriously about 15 oranges for, like, four bucks. And they were good oranges, too! Like, ugh. And now I'm telling myself, like, God damn it, I would be there every single freaking time it's there. I would, I would bring a duffel bag. Give me uh, five things of broccoli, just throw it in there. I'll take that piece of salmon right there, just throw it in there. Give me a couple of them uh, plums. I'll take uh, about five bundles of grapes there. Those lemons look like some pretty good eating. And for dessert, how about you give me some of them there uh, peaches. I'll take about 50 of them. What's that all gonna cost me? Keep left. Fuck! That'll only be 1050, uh, sir. Two. Shut your mouth! Then turn left. I am sick of you! Well there, sweetie, here's a 20. You go ahead and keep the chains. No, I would take my 950 back and go get some more fruit. So the treadmill thing obviously didn't work out. 
but what can work out is this! I would be surprised if anybody knows exactly what the hell I am pointing at right now without me explaining it to you. This is a stationary bike stand. You can put actual bikes on it and make it stationary. It's awesome. All I need is one of my old bikes and then I'll put it on. It's gonna be great. Alright. So it's up here in the snow. Ah, oh, beautiful. There you are. Outlook DX by Diamondback. I've had this bike ever since I was like friggin' nine. Let's get it inside. Uh, why am I doing this holding a camera? Ghetto! It's so hard to push, but I think it's because the bar that holds holds it in the center there needs to be raised up as much as it can. <sighs> Did you see that? That was that was my workout for the day. So it's been a full week, you guys. This vlogging stuff really takes up like the entire life, you know? I wake up every morning like this, I'm like <sighs> Alright, so what should I do for a vlog today? <laughs> you know? And all day I'm just thinking like, okay, I gotta do something. I gotta do it. I'll be sitting in front of the computer watching my own YouTube videos going like, all right, how am I gonna start this vlog? How the heck am I gonna do this video thing? <laughs> so it actually, it motivates me to just get up and, and do something. That alone is, is a healthy thing. This here is an orange, which is also a healthy thing. I wonder if it's bad for you to eat the rind. To be completely honest, it really doesn't taste that bad. Never mind. I lied. I was joking. So I weighed myself when I woke up this morning. I was at 251. And that's with a pair of boxers on. But as I've come to learn, weighing yourself right when you wake up doesn't give you the actual body weight that you're going to be. I'm, I'm usually like three pounds heavier by midday. I don't know why. I already forgot what my starting weight was. I want to say it was 260. The thing is, I really haven't worked out that much in the past week. Um, there have been a lot of times when I've wanted to. The diet thing is going way easier than I ever thought it would. That's mostly because I wasn't really addicted to anything before, like fatty foods and everything. Like, I wasn't craving them. Uh, I'm more of like a guy that likes to go around and like, you know what? I'd like a thing of General Gao's chicken. But really, I just want to taste one of them. That's all I really wanted. But I just never could bring myself to stop. You got a whole plate of food in front of you. It's like, oh, now I'm gonna throw all this away. That's dumb. But I've been a lot, I've been a lot better about that um, for the past couple years. Sure, there's a lot of times when I drive by restaurants and I say, like, you know, I could really use this from that place now. And usually I would, but now, nope. And it feels awesome. Let's see how much I weigh right now. All right, I'm wearing nothing but boxes right now, and I know it's turning on a whole lot of you, but take it easy. It's okay. We'll get there. Was that a weird-ass wink that I tried to do? Epic wink fail. All right, <laughs> here we go. Two, four, no way! Seriously? I feel fluffy inside. That might be a lie. Hold on one second. And I'm holding the camera. Of course there's an error. 249, I am 249. I can almost comfortably say I've lost 10 pounds in one week. But I want, I want the toned. I want that, I want, look at that. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I gotta start working out guys. I gotta start getting the muscle, all right? I need protein, give me the protein. And I'm standing here thinking about the 500 billion things I could talk about, and I realized, no, nobody wants to see you naked standing there talking about things, except for that one person. Yeah. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, week one down, and I feel awesome! Oh! Oh! Sorry.